What is going on guys, it is Fatal Reaper Day, bringing you another video on the HP Villain Gaming Laptop. As always, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and smash the notification bell before we continue. And let's go ahead and get into this video. In this video guys, I wanted to, and you know, get it really in deep, or depth with what you should consider before buying the HP Villain. So first thing foremost, I'm going to go over what you need to do as far as when you're gaming. So first thing, do make sure right here in the right corner, you see your battery. You're going to click that. Simply click it, and you're going to see best performance, high performance, and then low ba power mode, uh, basically to save battery life. Always have that on high performance, unless you're just like watching YouTube videos or just doing, you know, nothing pretty much, other than, or you want to save some battery. Always have that on high performance, or you're going to run into possible delays and other things like that. Next thing, you're going to download GeForce Experience, a software that is also a recording software. And as you can see, it shows your games and what kind of games you're, you can, uh, you're running or you frequently play. And you can just record and stuff like that. You're going to type this little setting or tap this little settings button right here. You're going to go down. It's going to say battery boost and you're going to want that at 60 FPS. If you don't have that on, you will possibly get stuck at 30 FPS. That is where a lot of people run into issues where they run stuck at 30 FPS. And if it's stuck right here, again, all you got to do is simply move it up to 60. Next thing, you're going to want to check your drivers. Make sure they're always up to date. And all you got to do is click check for updates. Once that's done, it should tell you if you have updates or anything. And this next portion of the video, it's going to switch over and I'm going to show you three games. So we have Fortnite, we have Red Dead Redemption 2, and I believe it should be Modern Warfare. And PUBG, my, my fault. PUBG, Modern Warfare, Fortnite, and Red Dead 2. And you can watch all these videos on the HP Pavilion on my playlist if you want to go check them out. It will pop up here on the cards menu. It pops up on the right hand corner and you should see um, the game or my playlist. So HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop Tests on my channel and you can see any game you want. I do do a very, very large variety of games and I typically, if you have a question or want to see a game, I will answer it pretty as fast as I can and I usually do a uh, game whatever game you want I usually do it even if I have to buy it I will buy the game and do a video on it that being said guys let's go ahead and get to the technical aspects and for the real reason that you should be here and things you should really think about okay you have to really think about I'm showing you you know what you can do to boost the gameplay how well it plays and you can see the games that you're playing but what you really need to think about is what do you want Okay, so for someone like me, this laptop is perfect for a secondary kind of computer. I know that sounds bad because a lot of people only can afford or can have one computer. I am fortunate enough to, luckily, I have two. So I actually have a main PC that I run my main games on and do YouTube videos or um, hopefully stream one day. But it, um, but I have bad internet so I can't stream. But you need to really think about what do you want to do. If you're wanting to do hardcore gaming like let's say some Red Dead Redemption 2. You're wanting to play some Cyberpunk. You're wanting to play these high end games. You probably need to start going very very slow and just building you a custom PC. And if you guys want to know my parts I will have a parts list down below. And it is in the links in the description below for what I have. I have 2070 Super and a Ryzen 7 3700X. Okay, so the laptop itself, if you do, those of you that don't know, has a GTX 1650 graphics card. It has an i5-9300 CPU. 8 gigabytes of RAM is what it comes with, is upgradable to 16, and a 256 gigabyte SSD. You can upgrade that as well. You can upgrade the graphics card or the processor as far as I know, um, but you know... It's still a pretty really good laptop, but again things you need to know obviously this laptop can play modern warfare Fortnite main your main games that most people play I myself play these games very uh, Very often and it plays all of them flawlessly and has no issues But if you're wanting to go for higher end graphics your best bet is to build a gaming PC desktop but again, if that's not what you can really afford right now, or you're looking, maybe you don't want that, or you do want a laptop because you travel a lot, or whatever the situation might be, definitely this laptop is a hit and a home run with budget laptop. I will say this is probably one of the be better ones. There is the Acer Nitro and a few others that some people have uh, reached out to me and told me about. They're about the same, or they do the same, they run really good. 
Again, that being said, it really comes down to personal preference, but really think about those things before you buy it because you know, like, what do you want? Are you wanting a hardcore game? Are you wanting something that's mobile? If you're wanting something that's mobile but can game good, kind of like an Xbox, because here's the example I'm going to use. I used to bring my Xbox One S everywhere I went. Any vacation we went, I would just bring it. Obviously, I can't bring my computer, so I bring my Xbox One S. I will tell you that my Xbox One S lags at almost every single game I play. I can't even play Modern Warfare or Fortnite anymore because the graphics have gotten so bad or so good that my Xbox lags terribly bad. It's just it's just it's lagging behind. But this laptop has no issue. So if you are looking, but you know between this and our Xbox, I would definitely say this unless maybe you were getting the Xbox One X or the PS5. Other than that, I would highly recommend this laptop. So do think about those things and really think about what you need and what you want as a gamer. Obviously, we all want the highest and uh, you know graphics card and everything like that but sometimes that's just not what we can get or you know that's just not the case but i will say this laptop has performed amazingly more than i ever thought it would and it's been just a great laptop so if you're looking for a great budget laptop that can play all your favorite games and you can bring it on the go this would be for you uh, again uh, most laptops are the same you're probably going to have to leave it on the charger nine times out of ten more frequently than not to play your games like this because the battery life will die very quickly over playing games like this. Other than that, guys, it has no issues playing all these games. If you have any, have any questions, please leave me some comments down below. I'll be sure to get to every one of them as fast as I can. And if you have any game suggestions, I will do those as well if you want to see them. And again, check out the playlist if you want to see everything like that. Again, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.